Shalom everyone, my name is Jose Oscar Salinas with Unite Christians and Jews. Today's video is about my Rapture series, part four, that I'm turning into practice debates, asking people to email pre-trip teachers like Greg Laurie to reason or debate me in hope of stopping division in the church because he's not replying to mine. The concern is, after seven years of Bible college at Calvary, I found out that it's a misunderstanding, a lie, or someone is setting us up for the fallen away event before the Jewish people build the third temple. So I hope you give me a chance and explain, and may God bless you with understanding. In this slide, I'd like to share my front cover source from one of Greg's tweets called The Rapture versus The Second Coming, What's the Difference? Because our goal for reasoning or debating should be, why is there so much division or why do so many people get confused about this doctrine, as he rightly stated in his tweet. So please ask Greg to show us a visual timeline that, we, that will help us stop division in the church for the love of God and respect for Pastor Chuck wishes before he passed away. This is my presentation outline with seven things I will share throughout my Rapture series. One, why is it important to compare Rapture timelines? Two, which pre or post tribulation timeline should we trust? Three, who's distracting or hindering from knowing the truth? Four, let's review the prophets and the book of Revelation timeline. And five, why some teach the church is not mentioned in Revelation four through 22. And six, why do some say the rapture's not a salvation issue? And seven, which church will fall away when they see the third temple per scripture? And last, conclusion and hope to end division in the church and prepare the saints. In this presentation, I will try to keep it short and simple because my goal as a practice debate is to ask each pre-trib teacher simple questions. Which timeline which he represent for the debate? Maybe Charlie Campbell's timeline that has been endorsed by many Calvary Chapel teachers. Or will he dare use Dr. Isis' timeline, who has not responded to my emails that I believe comes from fictional books, the Left Behind series, that many Calvary chapels endorse? Or will he use Bill Salas' timeline, who declined my request? Or Don Stewart's timeline, who announced he would not debate? Or will he consider evaluating mine because it's in chronological order? And this is a close-up of my Book of Revelation imagery and combined timeline chart, showing that if you combine all eight columns into one timeline, you will understand that the rapture happens at the end of the seven years, when you hear the last trumpet that I explained in my previous video, without cutting or pasting as others do. Plus, I created two columns showing imagery or verses that help you match the events yourself, so no one will ever deceive you ever again. Or we can ask him to review my Daniel 70 weeks chart that includes four timelines that parallel the last days perfectly from the book of Daniel, Paul's letters, Jesus' Olivet Discourse, and John's Revelation that I saw after rearranging the entire Bible back in its historical chronological order. Or would he like to compare my simple timeline that shows us the seven seals and the seven historical periods that I discovered in the book of Revelation that I explained in previous videos. My main concern is that they're showing the seven seals destroying the Jews while they're building the third temple. Yeah, this is my imagery timeline, which I like to debate with because when I created this chart, Everything came together, and I saw every major event clearly as we all heard. One picture is worth a thousand words. Nevertheless, this is my concern. I notice that many teachers do a lot of talking, but rarely show images because I think it will question their teaching, especially when you compare Dr. Ice's images showing what they're really teaching. And this is a close-up from that chart. The last seven years that I like to focus on by asking every pre-trib teacher to please explain. One, why are you scaring the Jewish people from building the third temple? Because you're showing the destruction of the Jews 
while they're trying to build the temple. Second, why are you misleading the conservative Christians by teaching them not to worry because they will not see the last seven years? But Revelation 7.3 implies sealing the godly before God releases the trumpet angels and 9.4 commands them not to hurt the saints, which suggests passing over them like the days of Moses. Three, why do you call it the Antichrist temple or that it will deceive people versus my post-tribulation timeline below calls it rightly the Jewish temple. Plus, it matches the book of Revelation and the prophets that there will be a time of peace while building it. Because while I spent eight months in Jerusalem, I saw the sincerity of the people wanting to build it to make a peace offering to God, which every godly person would say it's a great thing to see, versus one calling it the Antichrist temp temple and showing God releasing the seven seal judgments on them while they're building the temple. And second, they're showing the four horsemen trampling them down. Third, they're showing the trumpet angels tormenting them. And fourth, they're showing this happening in darkness because the first four trumpet angels are predicted to strike the earth resources, the sun and the stars from heaven, which makes no sense if it's a time of peace. Then they show the man of sin breaking the peace treaty in the middle of the seven years and God releasing the seven bow angels on them that no man or living creature will survive for three and a half years. Then they dare to say, comfort one another and be happy. Jesus is going to bring you back to fight the Antichrist. Then you will reign with him for a thousand years. Then imply that Satan will be released so he could test and make you suffer again. On and on. Things that absolutely, absolutely make no sense. Because scripture shows that once you're in heaven, you will never suffer ever again. Next, I will use this slide to briefly share my greatest concern on what I saw after organizing the Bible in chronological order. That is the fallen away event that happened during the first temple and the second temple. And it warns us that it will happen again when the pre-tribbers see the third temple. Because false teaching was spreading with or without intent to deceive. And scoffers mocked the saints, where is the promise of his coming? and they fell away. Then some will be taken into heaven because they kept the word of God and others will be left behind for the wrath of God because they accepted the mark and the image of the Roman beast kingdom. Nevertheless, please check out my rapture series to hear the complete details. And this is my conclusion that I believe has brought much division in the church. Dr. Isis' colorful timeline Pushing, pushed by the pre-trib research center into our churches that might look colorful, but it's simply setting people up for the fallen away event. That I believe was created from Left Behind series, which sold over 80 million copies. And my concern is millions of good pastors are spreading this false doctrine without intent to deceive, while others are purposely spreading it, especially if they continue after they've been warned. Yet, that's why I'm asking people to email Greg and other pre-trib teachers to reason for the truth to avoid being called one who is setting people up for the fallen away event. Because I think this pre-trib rapture doctrine was planted by the enemy as a distraction to avoid exposing the mystery Babylon. That I believe it's Rome who rules the United Nations according to the book of Revelation chapter 17, 7. Or naming the revived Roman beast and his helpers called the two-horned lamb per my other videos. Because per my other videos, I explain that many are not aware that the United Nations controls 193 of 195 countries who is preparing to enforce the New World Order by 2030 per their website. Which I also shared on my other video, Who is the Image, that this Russia war is not against Ukraine, but Rome is trying to consecrate Russia to worship the image as they tried during World War I and World War II. Though the scary thing is that after the United Nations tries to force Russia, 
They will go after every single country and last Israel as all the prophets predicted, including Mecca and the Muslim countries who believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. With that said, I'd like to end by reminding you that today's presentation was my rapture practice debate with Greg Laurie because he's not responding to my emails. Nevertheless, I hope you email him and others who teach the pre-trip doctrine to please reason for the love of God and Pastor Chuck Smith, whom I believe would want us to unite the church that has been badly divided and protect the sheep from the wolves that entered the church, especially after his departure. And if everyone would like to see this, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will be honest, I really like Pastor Greg for his love for Jesus Christ and respect for Pastor Chuck, who would dream of seeing the unity of the church. Still, I'd like to thank you all for listening. And please write a comment if you like to help unite the church. And if you like this presentation, one, give me a like, two, hit the subscribe button to get notified of my next video or schedule event, and watch the next videos that identify the beast and prepare you for the third temple. And three, support my ministry to make better videos and I will send you one of my charts. And lastly, I pray that God gives you understanding, wisdom, and boldness for the love of God and truth that gives us hope in heaven. God bless.